Right guys, you join us way after we filmed this one, but we've had to stand in abeyance a little bit on this particular footage that we've had. We've kept it to one side. We thought we were going to do one thing with it, but we decided to do another. So what you're about to see is something unusual. Um, Tommy contacted us via telephone just before Christmas when he actually brought the car into us. We had it for a number of months, his vehicle. Now there's a great backstory to this, which is that this car was actually impounded by the police because they suspected it of being involved in, uh, what should we say, I suppose an event where this car reputedly did uh, John O'Groats to Land's End in a certain time. Now, this is all over the internet, it's not something that you can't find, and it's been commented on by millions of people. So, up until this point, I hadn't had any prior knowledge of this. So I did a little bit of research, and you'll see in, during the course of the video just what we found. But at this point, Tommy, who'd been accused of doing this, who clearly didn't, in our opinion, um, had been acquitted of all charges. So, that's where we fast forward to, just before Christmas, and Tommy actually lands at BD Performance. Now, he wants to bring this vehicle, his precious S5, up to its former glory. So that's what we did. Now, we had intended on filming a load of content surrounding this, and a load of the work that we carried out to bring the car back up to roadworthy condition. Now, we couldn't do that for various different reasons, moreover the fact that there was put a lot more work to this than actually met the eye. Now what we were met with after we'd done the service was there was a couple of other problems and niggles, electrical issues that arose and we've actually yet to deal with them. Um, also the paintwork on reflection really, and I know that's a bad word, but on reflection it wasn't actually as, in as good a condition as it appeared to be on camera. Now when we looked at it, the tree sap that had stood on the paintwork had actually etched itself into the into the, the body paint and into the lacquer. So we actually had to send the car off to Wizards. We did that for an initial inspection which was to decontaminate it um, and just you know get an overall picture of the of the quality of what was underneath. So we did that, we then followed it up by sending it back to them and they did some more work on it. Now there is a bit more work to bring it up to its former glory, but it's somewhere near and Tommy has now had his car back. We're now several months on from that point and we felt like now was the time to release it. If you haven't already, then you probably have a look on various social media platforms and YouTube itself and you can read more and see more about Tommy and what he was accused of. Now, this leads us on to a really, really interesting question. Now, I know this is going to create some controversy, but do you think he actually did it? Or do you think this was all a bit of a showbiz ruse? What was this for? A bit of attention? Who knows? Um, as far as the eyes of the law are concerned, Tommy's been cleared of this, but do you think he actually did it? Or do you think that someone just mistook someone that was taking part in these American events that go on all the time? Or do you think this actually happened? It's a great question. Comment down below if you think he did or if you think he didn't. Um, now I know a number of people are going to get upset about this video and are probably going to hate us in the comments down below, but it's a risk we're going to have to take. I hope you enjoy the content that follows and I hope you do stay and watch to the end. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel then please feel free to do so. Um, if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and make sure that you share it with your friends. We're going to hopefully have Tommy back in the near future once he's dealt with the issues at hand and uh, stay safe and we'll see you guys soon. So how long have they actually had it then? Uh, they took it August 2018, so two and a half years, nearly two and a half years. So when I went to see it in October, it had been under a tree since then, outside. I mean, fair news, the guys down there gave it a good jet wash before we picked it up and pumped the tyres up and charged the battery up. So was this at like a Huff Green or some sort of compound? Yeah, a big compound, so next to the yeah, cars. Yeah, basically, but a police compound yeah. off the scrap. Yeah, normally that's what they do is take it to a salvage yard you know, that, that's closest by to them, that's got some sort of deal with them, and they impound it in a separate, yeah, separate exactly. locked area, so don't they? Next to it we had a, uh, a Range Rover souped up SVR sport thing that belonged to one of the biggest drug dealers down in Cornwall. 
oh, his right. car had been seized. That had been there just as long as mine. The other side was some sort of car that had been in a hit and run and something like that. It was all just police cars. Yeah. And this was just buried in the middle of it all. So it, it just sat there for nearly, well, almost three years. Almost then. three years, yeah. Just un untouched other than them stripping some of the bits off it. Yeah, they they stripped stuff like all that. the equipment off it. Um, there was a fuel cell in the boot that was still in it. We took that out this morning. Um, and that's about it. Really. It's just been sat there. I'm hoping you can get it back up to its former glory. Yeah, it's come in a far better condition than I Yeah, I was actually. Like, when it. I saw it and it was running and I was like... I was expecting it to be in a terrible state. I thought it was going to be coming here absolutely green, you know, and, and covered and coated, to be fair. I was, expecting to, I was expecting all the seals to be green and deteriorated and everything, to be fair. It's, it's a real surprise that it's like that. And not far from the coast as well, so that's salt air. Exactly, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, to be fair, it's probably a good job that it was dirty. It's probably protected it. Yeah. But yeah, it was covered. When they, when they seized it, it had a car cover on it. The car cover was in the back seat, so there's been a car cover in the back seat for two and a half years. Oh, so they didn't even bother to put the car cover on it for them. You know what I mean? So, I'm supposed to get it back as well. Okay. So, how long after it had apparently done this journey that everyone's seen on the internet, how long after was it that they actually decided to come for you then? Yeah. Or come for the car, should I say? I was accused of using this car, this one in September 2017. They came nearly 12 months to the day after to see the car. So, so it took them 12 months to get whatever evidence they thought was yeah. enough to, to make it stick. Yeah. Just don't believe everything you read in the papers, I think. Obviously. Yeah. You know. Something like that. I mean, yeah. I'd done the, the rumble in 2016, which was like a poor man's gumball. Yeah. And in 2017, all around Europe, and then I was invited to go to do, uh, in 2018, to do the cannibal run from New York to LA. And um, that's what I was planning this car to do, but it got taken off me, so I couldn't go in 2018. But instead, I went in 2019, bought an old classic Jag, and we took it to New York, and we did the cannibal run to LA last year. Um, there was a lot, of, a lot of misinformation. Yeah, obviously, yeah. You know I mean, mean, yeah, nobody ever knows. You know, when you <laughs> stage stuff like this, and it's an internet sensation, you know, then, then there's going to be a lot of controversy. Obviously, there's pictures of you with, I've seen on the internet, a few phones just up um, to speak about the car, having said that apparently it'd been involved in this sort of thing. But there's a picture of you stood by it with a, with a foreign plate on. So I'm assuming that wasn't the plate that was on the... No, they, that's it. I mean, it was, it, was for the, it was for show, that plate, and it actually said, if you look closely, it said, J-O-G, Johnny Groves, yeah. Ellie, Land's End, yeah. and then the, the alleged time in 9 hours 36. But um, I am Irish, like I've got, I'm an Irish citizen, I've got a lot of friends and family in Ireland. But um, yeah, it's all shown this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent, I mean, if you'd have done it, it would have been a great thing, wouldn't it, really? But clearly you didn't, because well, the judge and jury said you didn't. That's it, I was found not guilty. Yeah, so, so yeah, so there we go. Just one of them, but we'll get this dropped off, hopefully, um, Get it back to its former glory. And where, so, what's it doing after this then? What it's are you doing? It's going to go to the States next year. Um, I've got a couple of friends, I don't know if you've been with the channel. Right, on YouTube, yeah, yeah. So, I'm good friends with those guys, and obviously, they want to get me out to the States again and to bring the car that was supposed to go in the first place. So, it's going to be fixed up, put back to how it was, and be on the boat next year to New York. So, that's the plan. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But anyway, welcome back. It's a few days after Tommy's been here and we're here with his Audi S5 ready to sort out, well, basically making it roadworthy again. So, what we've done is compiled a list, we've sent it through to Tommy. It's a very basic list because obviously some of this cost is going to be, have to be covered by the police because they've had this car wrongfully impounded for the last, well, two to three years. So we're going to give it a full service, we're going to change the oil, we're going to change all the oils on it, all the fluids, we're going to change all four tyres because Tommy wants that done and we recommended it because it's been sat in the same position on the same part of the tyre with the tyres inflated, well semi-inflated after two or three years for all that length of time. We're then going to have a look at the bodywork, some of the other components, we're going to give it a pre-MOT, we're going to take it for a physical MOT and find out if there's anything else that we've missed on it. So stay tuned, if you haven't already then please subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit that bell icon to stay notified, comment down below, 
you lot don't seem to like Audis. I mean, do we have to buy one to make you like them or what? Um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up just because, man, he, well, it's just, it would be cool if he actually did this. Obviously, he didn't do it, but he's told you in the, in the like, bit before that you've seen that he didn't do this. It's a lot of, like, smoke and mirrors and all that jazz. So, yeah, stay tuned and we'll see you in the next episode.